So, as you know, 2021 is right around the corner, and right with it will be Gotham Knights. So let's talk about some alternative suits we would like to see in the game. I'm running down Red Hood today. He is by far and away, in my opinion, most interesting character to do this video for because he has so many fantastic alternate skins, some of which you're seeing here. These are not even on the top list that I made. So these are kind of like uh, didn't make the cut because the top six list that I have is even stronger. So let's dive into that right now. Actually, before I do that, I wanted to give my thoughts on the Gotham Knights suit in the game itself. So this is the default suit. So I think his suits are okay. They're not great. I don't really like the browns that are in his chest plate. That looks really weird to me. I much prefer the bright red on the black, but even making that uh, chest plate light up, I also am a big fan of that look. The brown is just really weird. Moreover, the mask is pretty cool, but I kind of don't like how it's a sweatshirt hoodie either. You can see kind of the drawstrings in his hoodie. It's, it's kind of weird. It does resemble slightly what they did in the 90s a bit with his suit, where they tried to make him more informal and relatable, so he didn't have a traditional superhero outfit. The other thing to know for this game is that customization will be a big thing in terms of appearance. For instance, Batgirl looks completely different in two different shots of the gameplay versus the CGI trailer, so clearly there's a lot of customization in terms of the suits. With that being said, I think the Red Hood suit is pretty good. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 with room for improvement in the way the chest plate looks and the overall really casual vibe to it, I think is not my favorite. But let's say that this suit is not your favorite, and what W Montreal has done with Red Hood's look is not your favorite. What would you turn to then? And that is the point of this video, so let's delve right into it. All right, number six on the list, Prime Earth Red Hood. Just look at that suit. Now that is sick. Not only that, the uh, mask that he's got there, really, really cool. you also notice that he's holding a crowbar, a reverse from the fact that he was killed by a crowbar before returning as Red Hood and being reborn via the Lazarus Pit. And then he's uh, he's rocking the crowbar to know that nothing can phase him. So for those you want to wear, Prime Earth really just means alternate universe. So there are different Earths in the DC Comics universe, of course. You know, there's Earth 1, Earth 2. And part of that is that there is Earth Prime, which is like Earth 0, meaning that it's pretty much that exact character and how they may look in a completely different universe. All right, number five is the coolest suit that you've never heard of, and that is the Red Hood Mentor suit. So this is from the New 52 run. And by the way, do not read Red Hood in the New 52. It's terrible, but... This is a great thing that was produced from it. Look at how cool this suit is. Once again, holding the crowbar, fantastic mask. We got to put him at number five. All right, suit number four on the list, the Arkham Knight suit. Now, this is interesting because we were told all along leading up to the release of Batman Arkham Knight in June of 2015 that the Red Hood character was not Arkham Knight and that Arkham Knight was a brand new character and that it wasn't Jason Todd because when they initially announced, oh, there's this mysterious villain in Batman Arkham Knight, his name is the Arkham Knight. Nobody knows who he is and you'll have to play the whole game to find out. We all were kind of like, wait, isn't that just uh, Jason Todd? I mean, I'm pretty sure it is, right? They're like, no, 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 it's not. It's a brand new original character. You're going to have to play the game to figure out this brand new super original character. And they were like, okay, that's interesting. And then we played the game and it literally was Jason Todd. So this suit is weird because we vaguely don't even connect it with Jason Todd in a certain sense because we were told for so long that it, that it wasn't him. Now, maybe it's just because I closely followed the release of Arkham Knight, but I kind of for the longest time put Alfred in that suit or uh, Aaron Cash or other Arkham characters kind of speculating that they would be the one in the suit. But of course, that's not what happened. Anyway, regardless of the plot problems uh, created from Batman Arkham Knight, the fact of it is the suit looks fantastic in the game. It's sleek. It's modern. It matches Batman's um, 8v.0.2 suit that is in the Batman Arkham Knight game. And it's just fantastic. Also, I like the idea of having skins where the character is completely transformed into another character. In other words, it, he's not Red Hood when he has that suit on. He is the Arkham Knight. Now, that's what Rocksteady should have said. Not that they're totally, the totally new character. They should have said this is a, you know, uh, well, you can't say it's not a new persona because then that's a giveaway that it's Red Hood. But you, you know what I mean. All right, delving into number three, the Red Robin suit is in the number three spot. And even though this isn't the best Red Hood suit, it doesn't look as cool as some of the other ones I've shown you and certainly not what I have in the number one slot. It is a legacy suit, and I think it's important to, to be in the game. Of course, Red Robin typically refers to Tim Drake, but uh, in previous iterations in the comics, Jason Todd has filled that role of the Red Robin, and, and as a result of that, it would make 
it would kind of be shafting him to not give him the Red Robin suit as a skin in the game. However, I can understand why they wouldn't, because they're building up Red Hood to be the main hero of this game. You know, Batman is not in Gotham Knights, and as a result of that, the main heroes of the game, Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, Robin, etc., want to have their own persona, and you don't want to maybe downgrade Red Hood to make him just another Robin. I don't know, maybe they're not even thinking about it that in-depthly, but... I, I would really like to see the Red Robin suit for Jason to hop into. And then it's like you, you can go out with uh, Tim Drake. You have two Robins. It's kind of cool. And I don't know about you guys, but I just have so much nostalgia for the Bat family. And I, I love the characters of Robin, Nightwing, and Batgirl. And I love the idea of them all being together. You know, Nightwing and, and Red Hood, they're kind of unique personas that are unique to the people that take those personas and they're very much so distant from the Bat family, but seeing everybody in like a Batgirl suit or everybody in a Robin suit, you know, Jason, D uh, Tim, Dick, Barbara, etc. It's it's very nostalgic to me. It reminds me a lot of the animated series. So I always love when we get that. All right. Number two is the original Red Hood suit. And as many of you know, the Red Hood persona has actually not only been embodied by Jason Todd. He is one of many people to be the Red Hood and the first known Red Hood in the DC Comics universe is the Joker. And that's very interesting because Jason Todd and the Joker end up having a very unique and complex relationship in the DC Comics universe. So given all of that context, it is something that would also be fantastic to see that classic Joker, classic Red Hood suit that we all know from, you know, the Killing Joke and that we all know from the comics, etc. So I would really, really be excited if they were able to include the suit in the game, but I also understand why they maybe wouldn't. Also, I'm curious to know, is this game going to have a season pass model? Is it going to be $40 like Arkham Knight? I'd be very curious to know, but if we can get guaranteed some high quality skins and mainly what I'm looking for in skins for this game is stuff from well-known properties like the Batman Arkham games, Batman the Animated Series, um, graphic novels, even, I don't know why they haven't done, oh, here is the long Halloween suit from the Batman, uh, from, you know, the graphic novel. Here is the Killing Joke Batman suit or something like that. They should have done more of that in the Arkham games, but I understand they relied more upon the well-known properties like the movies for their alternate suits, and that's that's fine, but I think delving deeper into this game, if they can allot more time and resources into building out this game, because one thing we know from the game developer, uh, a game developer, is she tweeted about how this game is meant to have legs to it, you know, and I don't mean to misquote her, that's not exactly what she said, but I think she very much so said, like, there is a lot of potential for room for growth for this game. She said that, you know, it's all about growth and evolving. So I think that this game is going to have continued investment for years to come, and as a result of that, we're going to get more characters, more skins, more side missions, um, more missions to do with friends, co-op multiplayer stuff. And as a result of that, I think it would just really enrich the game to have a bunch of content, a bunch of skins, a bu uh, even a pricey season pass I wouldn't complain about. You know, even if it was, you came out, it's 40 bucks, but we're guaranteeing you that you're getting these high quality skins, exactly the type of ones we're running over right now. Really, really cool and unique. Not ones you can just easily throw together, uh, but also deeply, deeply based upon our connections to to the comics and our connections to the animated series and the movies and really gauging what fans want to see. And I think if they did that, people wouldn't put people would not be upset about paying a little bit more for skits. All right, now for the moment you have all been waiting for the number one suit is the Battle for the Cow suit. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Battle for the Cow was when all of the Bat family fought against one another to get the cow of Batman. I don't want to spoil the story for you, but it's really, really good. And in it, Red Hood has this really cool mechanical, futuristic. Um, kind of robotic, uh, anti-hero looking suit. And again, I don't want to spoil a lot, but I can just tell you and show you the suit that it looks really, really cool. So I recommend that you read the story if you haven't already. And a lot of people have theorized maybe that plot will be in the game in Gotham Knights. I, for one, would actually love that. If there was some theme throughout the game, perhaps in the first half or something, where there is a battle for the cow, and all the characters are trying to be the leader of the Bat family and become the new Batman. Even Barbara Gordon, you know, she's eligible. So, as a result of that, um, that is something I probably won't anticipate seeing in the game. However, it would be really cool if maybe it was even an expansion DLC after the game comes out. 
where there is a four-hour story campaign where all of the Bat family members are fighting against one another after they save the city from the Court of Owls. You know, who knows? So um, a lot of potential there. I'm obviously just (laughs) throwing crazy stuff out there. I know that um, some of these things are very unlikely to happen, but I think a lot of these skins that I ran through, not only do they look great, they would be fantastic to to be in the game. So hopefully we can get some of those um, after the game comes out. But first, they're working on the game more than uh, skins, which is DLC content. They're working on the full game itself. So I wish them the best of luck. I hope everything's been going well at WB Games Montreal and excited going into 2021 to be finally playing this game after many years of anticipation. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Slick Moff. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And shout out to all of my members. Subscribe in the link below.